<laughs> Who is it? Who laughs at me when I am in such pain? Easy, brother, croaked Raven. <laughs> you see, seven, eight moons ago, I became aware of an evil presence here in the backbone. At first, I must admit, I didn't think of it as such. The bear began sniffing the air, and that's when the Napeek one jumped up and shot him four times with as many shots. As he got closer, he shot him one more time. Then he swore in this peculiar language and walked away, leaving his kill. What can I do? You must kill the Napeek one with your mini shots gun. No, I, I can't do it. Would you have your brothers killed off then? Okay, I'll kill this one. The raven snuck into the Napequan's lodge. The words the raven spoke entered the man's ears and caused him to stop snoring. The words told a story of a young Pecuni woman, lovely and graceful, a woman of such charms that she made men mad with longing. He sang of her shiny hair that sung undone to the small of her back, of her breasts so pale and firm they reminded one of the snowbird's eggs of the lean, dark thighs that invited a man. Then he leaned closer to the man's ear and whispered where he could find this desirable creature. The raven told him to be sure to wear his wolf headdress so that the raven maiden wouldn't mistake him for another Mavic one. She was so lonely she would fall in love with the first man she laid eyes on.